Texas. Hey, Bobby, Whitehead, how you doing? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. How you doing? How's Dallas, Fort Worth? Oh, yes, both sides. <laughs> it's not complete without. Have a seat. Take my chair. Yeah, you like it? It's got my name on the back and everything. Yes. Oh, good to Isn't see you. Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. Let me get my here. How's Dallas? How's Fort Worth? It's good. Wonderful, and they're waiting to see you. Let me tell you, number five. Do you like to be there. called number five or Johnny? Johnny, or? please. Use my first name. Johnny? Right first name. It's Bobby. All right, and I'm Bobby with an I-E. I know. <laughs> you are just wonderful. Oh, you really are. You. Oh, do you, do you like working with, with people, actors, or would you rather be acting with other robots? Well, I wouldn't mind seeing other robots uh, make a break into the business, you know. But uh, working with people is fine. The people in this picture were wonderful. Jack Weston, of course, is great. Fisher is <laughs> Benja, very wonderful people to work with. I love them, sure. What's the biggest problem you have with actors, people actors? Well, sometimes they forget their lines or they get a little too tired and, you know, have to go off to the Winnebago to rest. Me? <laughs> no problem. I can just charge up my batteries and keep right on going. <laughs> You never blow your lines, do you? Never, 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 never. Well, maybe just once. <laughs> you might uh, get a little tired in the hands or a little tired in the neck or something. Occasionally, yeah. When we were shooting in Toronto, we had a bit of problems with the CN Tower. There were a lot of radio waves coming out of that thing. Let me tell you, I had a problem with interference in the middle of one scene. I found myself going... <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> I guess everyone's entitled to one breakdown. Do you robots plan to take over the world? I mean, you know, is that really what your game plan is? Oh, no, Bobby, you know it's better than that. Machines are friendly. We're instruments for people's help. You know, I'm alive just like everybody else. I got no plans for world domination or anything like that. <laughs> just peaceful coexistence, huh? Well, of course, yeah. That's all I want for the whole world. Peace, harmony, truth, justice, all of that. Probably there will be a short circuit three, and if you could write the script, Johnny, what would you like to put in short circuit number three? Hmm, let me think on that. Johnny goes to Club Med. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Spend the Club time Med. on the beach. That'd be wonderful. Great chance to work on my tan. And all those little bikini girls running around. <laughs> yes, sir. You wouldn't mind that. Not at all. Do you robots have a union? You know, can you bind together and... Oh, I'm a member of SAG. <laughs> oh, say. Sure, I've got my card. <laughs> what about these toys? Now, they're talking about making number five toys. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about that? Yeah, merchandising. Yeah. My face is going to be all over the place. Well, will you really like that, though? You know, thousands, millions of number fives all well, over the of world? of course. You know, mimicry is a form of flattery, as they say, and I'd be very flattered to have my image all over the place. It'd be wonderful. Be part of people's lives? Sure. They won't be able to do all the things you do, though. Oh, of course not. No. no. I'm outfitted with lots of tricks, lots of tools, lots of things, all the lights, all the bells, all the whistles, all the time, all the same. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the all-new Johnny Five. <laughs> you know, number five, I just think you're a marvelous creation. But, uh, you know, I wish I had some WD-40. I think I could help you out a little. You yeah, know, you make I know. a lot I of racket. Oh, this, these press junkets, they really wear you down, let me tell you. I got a stiff neck. Oh, you got some on you, WD-40 that is? <laughs> well, it's the one thing I don't have in my handbag. Uh -huh. Can you believe that? I little... never leave home without it. I've got some in the car. <laughs> well, a little moisture lotion. We might try that. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things that you like to do when you're off the set? Now, you're working today doing interviews, mm -hmm. but when you have just time for Johnny number five, what do you like to do? Oh, I like to read, you know, three, four, maybe five books an hour. Things like that. Lots of input. Love to study. And what do you like to read? What would be, would be your favorite thing? Oh, poetry, Shakespeare, popular mechanics. <laughs> popular mechanics. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you're their favorite cover, aren't you? You should oh, be. Oh, I don't know if I've been on the cover of Popular Mechanics yet. Maybe in a centerfold. <laughs> you and you and Phyllis Diller maybe could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could be the favorite. Maybe you could do one together. Think about that. Oh, that's a scary thought. If, if in the future, number five, they should get a leading lady for you, you know. 
and have a little romance. Ooh, 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 maybe. Who, who would you like to see play that part? Meryl Streep, maybe? That'd be good. Sure. Or uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Why not? I could do it. <laughs> Pretty good choices, I would say. Yeah, of course. You always aim high. Is it your goal someday to win an Academy Award and you can go up there and make an acceptance speech? That would be a wonderful thing. I can just imagine seeing myself up there saying, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank all the little people who made all of this possible. And I'd like to thank my mother and father, without whom I would not have been possible. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun. You, do you have just one mother, one father, or lots of mothers and fathers? Lots of mothers and fathers. There's a I lot of technicians so. who take care of me, and they're responsible for having me here today. Well, listen, number five, I have loved meeting you and talking with you, and I have to tell you that when you get beat up, and I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but when you got beat up, oh. I just nearly wept. Oh, a bit oh, your heart. Just, it hurt me. Oh, it hurt me, too. Some of those <laughs> scenes were pretty rough, let me tell you. Oh. Texas is waiting for you, and we love you, and why don't you come see us sometime, okay? I'd love to. All right. Oh, deep in the heart of Texas. Well, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. See you, Bobby. <laughs>
They won't be able to do all the things you do, though. Oh, of course not. No. no. I'm outfitted with lots of tricks, lots of tools, lots of things. All the lights, all the bells, all the whistles, all the time, all the same. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the all-new Johnny Five. <laughs> You know, number five, I just think you're a marvelous creation. But, uh, you know, I wish I had some WD-40. I think I could help you out a little. You yeah, know, you make I know. a lot I of racket. Oh, this knee press junkets, they really wear you down, let me tell you. I got a stiff neck. Oh, you got some on you, WD-40, that is? <laughs> well, it's the one thing I don't have in my handbag. Uh -huh. Can you believe that? A I little... never leave home without it. I've got some in the car. <laughs> well, a little moisture lotion. We might try that. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things that you like to do when you're off the set? Now, you're working today doing interviews, mm -hmm. but when you have just time for Johnny Number 5, what do you like to do? Oh, I like to read, you know, three, four, maybe five books an hour, uh, things like that. Lots of input. Love to study. And what do you like to read? What would be, would be your favorite thing? Oh, poetry, Shakespeare, popular mechanics. <laughs> popular mechanics. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you're their favorite cover, aren't you? You should be. Oh, I don't know if I've been on the cover of Popular Mechanics yet. Maybe in a centerfold. <laughs> you and you and Phyllis Diller maybe could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could be the favorite. Maybe you could do one together. Think about that. Ooh, that's a scary thought. <laughs> if if in the future, number five, they should get a leading lady for you, you know. <laughs> Well, and have a little romance. Oh, 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 maybe. Who, who would you like to see play that part? Meryl Streep, maybe? That'd be good. Sure. Or uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Why not? I could do it. <laughs> Pretty good choices, I would say. Well, of course. You always aim high. Is it your goal someday to win an Academy Award and you can go up there and make an acceptance speech? That would be a wonderful thing. I can just imagine seeing myself up there saying, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank all the little people who made all of this possible. And I'd like to thank my mother and father, without whom I would not have been possible. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun. You, do you have just one mother, one father, or lots of mothers and fathers? Lots of mothers and fathers. There's a I lot of technicians so. who take care of me, and they're responsible for having me here today. Well, listen, number five, I have loved meeting you and talking with you, and I have to tell you, that when you get beat up, and I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but when you got beat up, oh. I just nearly wept. Oh, I bet oh, it's your it, just, it hurt me. Oh, it hurt me too. Some of those <laughs> things are pretty rough, let me tell you. Texas oh. is waiting for you, and we love you, and why don't you come see us sometime, okay? I'd love to. All right. Oh, deep in the heart of Texas. Well, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. See you, Bobby. <laughs>